Hi, this is Michael from iPlay Base Vita and now we're going to have a look at Grim Fandango Remastered on the PlayStation Vita. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from... Office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him.
nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. A deck of cards just wouldn't help there. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. I don't feel like... I don't feel like pitching cards right now. Wasn't too long ago that the name on that door was Supply Cloud. I couldn't play this card there. What, the poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Coppel. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Big Mr. Boss Man. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today.
service. Hey, Genie, come out of the lantern already. Huh? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect... Sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. That, that won't help it get signed. Can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny... I say no interruptions today. Eh, sorry, Cal. Wow. 
I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Response here. Ah, oh, great, Zeva. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Zeva. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crossword puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ah, uh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Cows are a whole other bureau. 
I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not... Mmm, smells like the perfect client, rich and sweet. I know you can't hear me, but try to feel what I'm about to say deep down in your soul. Don't eat the gazpacho. I cows are a whole I have to say this food looks pretty good I can't reap hamburger cows are a whole I can't use my bare hand eh, fun's fun but I've got work to do Several travel package upgrades if you care to. Cut the yeah! I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it! Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you want it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end, two blowers, pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, uh, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street! No job! No way to work off your time! Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill! Who you calling a scumbag? Why, I ought to... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Mr. Gray poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 